This cross-country version I have dropped many times. Hello folks, welcome to NetCruiser Tech, and today I'm here to quickly talk to you about Keyway Designs and their new phone cases. Now a couple years ago I made some videos about Keyway Designs, and I've been very, very impressed with their phone cases. I still use these every single day. This one is the Cross Country, and they use a very nice mix of natural woods and metals uh, in a rubberized style case design that has a lot of grip to it actually, and uh, these have held up very well. So this one is the Cross Country, this one is the K1, it's designed after a old school 35mm camera with very nice metal and wood inlays. These are both for iPhones. Keyway Designs makes cases that are only for iPhones, so you do have to have an iPhone of any generation from an iPhone 5 and up. Now lately they've come into some new manufacturing processes where they've actually made prints. So this is still a wooden back, but they've added this printing to it. So now you can get a Keyway Designs case that has ink on it. And they have a couple of different designs. I'll show you a brief view through the website in a minute, but I just wanted to show you, this is one of their newer case designs. This one's called the Mono. This one is a white, gray, and black print. And uh, this case is designed for iPhone 8. If we compare the iPhone 6 era case to the iPhone 8, the only real difference is in the camera cutout on the back side, which it looks very minor in person when you compare them side by side here. And this one, new in package, is called the Chroma. And these two actually have the same print design, but one is in color and one is in the equivalent of black and white. The packaging is all eco packaging. Here's some of the information on the back. These cases are designed and hand manufactured in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And, uh, and I must say, I've been very impressed with the quality of these over the years. This cross country version, I have dropped many times. I have had a full drop from about chest height onto pavement. It, it rotated around. Landed face, it landed face down and the phone was absolutely fine. Now that is something that I do need to talk about is that there has been a slight change in the manufacturing of these cases. This one is the newest design that I picked up for the iPhone 8 and there is a, there is a functional downgrade with these new cases and that is that you lose the lay flat on the front design. If I flip this over flat on its face, the front glass of the phone is now touching the surface. So for a case, I don't like that as much because it's reducing the functionality. They kept all of the same niceties of the grip level, but they've reduced the front profile of it down to where it now sits flush with the glass. And that does make it easier for edge swiping on iPhones. But if I put this phone into one of the older cases that I have for the 6 and the 6S, I'll show you the difference. So now my iPhone 8 is in this iPhone 6S case and uh, you can still use this. There is one issue in that the camera hole does not line up properly, but if you look closely, the actual bigger glass surround on the iPhone 7 and 8 cameras does not obscure the actual lens. So while this might look a little goofy in person, it actually has no functional problem at all. It does not block the flash or the camera, and you can run a iPhone 7 or iPhone 8 in a Keyway Designs iPhone 6 or 6S case with no problem. Gaining a little bit of protection on the front where the lip sits up a millimeter or so higher off the edge of the glass, and that makes all the difference in the world for if you do have a fall glass forward, it does keep your glass off of the edge of the table. It's very hard to see here, but it's about one millimeter difference. I don't know why they did that. One millimeter, and I would very much prefer to have the extra protection of a lip around the edge. It does not block the ability to edge scroll that much. And I very much prefer having just a little bit of a front lay flat design where it's happened many times. A phone will slide out of my pocket and it will lay, land face down on the ground. And if you are gonna buy one of the newer designs for an iPhone 7, iPhone 8, um, it is highly recommended you get a screen protector because now the glass does sit above the edge of the, of the side of the case. 
can also see from the printing here, the printing does go right around to the very edge and it kind of fades into where the plastic changes from matte to glossy, which I've talked about in my previous Keyway Designs case review. I've been running this case nonstop for 35 days. This is the first time just to put the phone in here that I've actually taken it out and the paint that they're using has held up perfectly well and they put it right over top of their logo, all of the design, has been very robust so far. I've tried scratching at it. I cannot get it to scratch off. Um, there's no physical imperfections in this case at all. It's had a couple of slips out of my pocket um, and it has just as much protection as the old ones. The only thing you're losing out is the front uh, lip uh, above the display. So overall, their cases are still excellent. I still recommend them. This is still my favorite case manufacturer for iPhones. And they have some new designs. As they now have prints. So you can get, uh, they're still all wood based underneath, but you can now get the mono, burst, chroma, tropic, stargazer, rose, palm, paradise, flora, flamingo, and cicuta. As well as there's a couple of new designs that are in their embossed wood and metal material too. There's one with a Jeep that I really like that's new. Where did it go? Let's see. We're going to go to an XS Max. All styles for XS Max. There it is, the off-road. Um, so yeah, take a look at your iPhone case that you have. As I said, they make designs for all of the major iPhones all the way back to the iPhone 5 size. And they now have new designs with prints and some new designs uh, in their metallic and wood designs as well. So check them out. Go to keywaydesigns.com slash netcruiser and then that'll help me out as well as when you're in your cart under the gift card area type in netcruiser 15, hit apply and you'll get 15% off your order. Also what's included with the new cases has changed a little bit. You, knew, you now get a black sticker and a white sticker as well as thank you card of how to get in contact with Keyway Designs on social and show off your purchase. So these are still, in my opinion, one of the nicest design iPhone cases on the market. I really love these two. The new prints are unique if you want to get a little bit more color in your life. And overall, I must say, still a huge fan of Keyway Designs and their iPhone cases. So check them out. So here's the new Chroma out of the package. And there's one thing I do want to mention about the printed designs is that when you first get them out, uh, you do feel a little bit of the print. Now it does take a little bit of time for that kind of tackiness to go away and you put it in and out of your pocket for about a week and that completely goes away. You don't notice it anymore. It becomes very smooth to the touch and it does feel very much like wood. And like I said, the uh, you can't really scrape off the design. It's very good. So I have no problem with the um, robustness of the print. It's just something that when you do take it out of the package, there is a slight odor and a slight tackiness to the printing. And as you can see here, the printing goes right over the edges onto the textured grip. So it gives it a unique look as the printing does go right over to the edges and wraps around, which is very nice. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.